So I got ordained June 6, 2015. And um, I've had uh, my, my first assignment in uh, St. Timothy in, in Toronto, and then second uh, assignment in, in Halifax. And while I was in Halifax there as the, as the pastor there, um, I struggled um, with uh, depression and anxiety and insomnia. And, uh, and uh, I, I started to have like suicidal thoughts in 2018 while I was there. And it started to, like, to affect my, 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 my ministry, my work, uh, because I was struggling really to sleep also with insomnia. So I had to go on medical leave on December 2018. And I had to come here to Ottawa on 2019 of January. And uh, so I went to St. Mary's to attend Mass there. And uh, I met a friend of mine, a parishioner of St. Mary's. And God reminded her of the prophetic word that was given to her for me a year before. So this was January of 2018. Okay. And the prophetic word that was given to her for me was that my, my friend was a, uh, is a teacher. And um, in that prophetic image, she was driving. Uh, going to work and she saw a stop sign uh, and then around the, uh, uh, and there's a scarf um, on that uh, uh, stop sign and she saw a red and white road, a red and white boat and a red and white flag. So she interpreted that as the red and white is the divine mercy, right? And the stop sign is that because she was going to work, that I, Father Ken, will stop with my work and would come to Ottawa. Uh, and the scarf, the scarf that is, that's, it's the Ottawa sense. It's a, it's a hockey team of, of Ottawa. So it's a sign that I will come here to Ottawa on the height of winter, which is January. <laughs> right? And uh, so... Uh, and that this is where I would be experiencing healing. So when I came here to Ottawa on January 19, I had to go on a, to a clergy treatment center north of Toronto, and I was there for four months. And uh, it helped that I was there for four months, but it didn't really heal me it, because the prophetic word was that I will experience healing in Ottawa. <laughs> so I came back to Ottawa and... Um, uh, in May of 2019, and that's where uh, I, I started to experience healing. Okay, I started to experience healing, and um, I remember um, I, I was like really struggling at first when I first came to, to, to St. Mary's. Uh, I had to preach, I had to type my, my homily, and I had to read it word by word <laughs> because... Uh, I was so afraid that I would forget because I wasn't sleeping well then. And, uh, and the, the Lord gave me an imagery of me being on a wheelchair. So I had to type my homily. And uh, uh, so that's like being on a wheelchair. And then when I started to recover, I think uh, in October of 2019, the Lord just put into my heart, okay, you don't need to type anymore. <laughs> Uh, well, you have to type it anymore, but you don't need to read it word by word. Okay, so that's what I did. <laughs> so it's like g getting out of the wheelchair and then walking on crutches. And then by January, I started to feel better. And as I'm preparing my homily, I just sense the Lord put into my heart. You don't need even to type it. Just make an outline and then preach from that. I said, wow, could I really do that? <laughs> so I... I, I tried it out, and uh, uh, it went well. So so I don't need no longer need to type, and uh, so it's like the Lord is asking me to let go of the crutches, and then start walking. And then come March, I just had the sense the Lord putting into my heart: you don't need even to make an outline. I'm gonna give you the words that you need to preach, and then just preach from that. And I said, I really got scared because uh, maybe I'm used to having like an outline or something. And uh, so I'm just being obedient. And the Lord was like telling me, now I want you to run. Just run. And so that's what I've been doing. So I've been running. <laughs> I've been running all this time. And then uh, just growing in the spirit. And uh, 
the the Lord the Lord uh, I'm truly grateful for God through the intercession of Mary uh, for healing me because I won't be able to serve God and serve people if I'm not well okay and uh, so uh, so I thank God for that and uh, for uh, for the intercession of Mary so for those uh, men out there who is um, sensing the calling to the priesthood and yet you think that you're not perfect well nobody's perfect really <laughs> and uh, and I think the more that we acknowledge our weakness the more that the strength of God will really manifest in our life our community is really into evangelization and really open to the gifts of the Holy Spirit you know I, I, I want to be filled in the Holy Spirit and minister uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit because I know on my own I won't be effective and uh, so I really want to encourage you to just like the the religious sister the advice that she gave me i'm just going to give it to you give it a try you know the best way to discern is to try it out and uh, and when you're discerning doesn't mean that you're going to be ordained you know and uh, it's okay if if you discern out uh but it's 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 just uh, uh unfortunate if you won't even give this a try because i tell you if you're calling to the priesthood this is the best vocation. Because for me, I find so much fulfillment in this, being able to help others and be able to help minister to people and bring many souls to the Lord. That's my greatest joy. God bless.